you but I this is pretty much it for right now so. that hurts me this is so interesting <laughs> Going to the hotel. South Florida be looking fancy. <laughs> We're here. Taekwondo. Actually, what is? I'm so confused. Whoa. So this was waiting in Dr. Garamoni's office. On the way to the same day surgery center. It's currently 10 after 10. And I should be going back soon. So I hope so. Because I am ready. I've been stressed. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Heading home. Almost there. Probably about 45, 30 minutes. zonked out um but everything's going good for right now so i'm like super thankful hello everyone um so i woke up at like four i guess because i slept a lot yesterday i don't know um and the the pain um i'd say is about like a five or six most of it is like right here um, probably from the ace bandage because it's like squeezing my insides together um but you know it's whatever so and i can't wait to make some oatmeal also <laughs> make like some real food because i had a lot of crackers and bread and stuff yesterday um but i did have dinner i had like a nice light dinner of like brown rice some green beans and some black beans just unseasoned so I guess I'll just do a little overview of anyone that doesn't really know what top surgery is. So um, uh, he drew where he was going to cut. So um, he cut like here, like in a triangle shape. Um, and then I'll have scars like right here. It's called the double incision method because he makes two incisions. And then basically he lipos. Um, like the extra fatty tissue from your chest. And then he puts on like free nipple grafts, which are just um, like they downsize the size of your nipple and then it's replaced at the end of your pectoralis on um, your chest muscles. So it reflects a male chest. That's pretty much it. Um, it's an amazing procedure. Um, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Um, I have an appointment next Wednesday at 1030 to, so they take the ace bandage, they take all the dressing <clears throat> off of your chest and I'll get to see the actual, like, you know, I get to see myself. So I am really excited about that. It already feels good. Like it, it just already feels awesome um even though i'm in a lot of pain and like i have all this crap on it's like i just know what's underneath of there and um everything was 100 percent worth it 
through everything. And, uh, yeah. I'm excited. But I didn't feel nauseous at all, which was a dream come true. Like, I, I don't know, but... So... After that... Um, we watched Touching the Void on Amazon Prime, and it's just like a mountaineering movie, and, um, I went to bed probably around like 11, and had no trouble going to sleep at all. I was really, really tired, and as for today, I'm actually, I don't know, looking forward to, the, to today. Just like, gonna probably just like walk around the house and eat lots of food. Eat like lots of food. Because I've been really, really hungry for like an actual meal. So, I mean, last night was, was awesome. It was like, I felt like it was just like a gourmet dinner. <laughs> um, it was just green beans, black beans, and rice. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys, um, for, let's see. And I was like trying to eat like crackers and then I would just like fall asleep. And then I'd wake up with like cracker in my mouth and I was just like, what? It was just really, really strange trying to eat and drink. I almost spilled my cup because I would like fall asleep with like <laughs> my, my water and stuff. But so the ride home, um, can't tell you much about that. It was good, I guess. And I'll go over surgery A, which was yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, my, th my throat's still kind of like sore or whatever from the intubation, um, which they said it, it would be sore. So um, anyway, surgery day. Woke up at 7 and because um, I had to be at the surgery center at 9.30. So, got there and um, signed some paperwork. Um, there's lots of paperwork, um, which is understandable. So, after the paperwork, I went back into the waiting room and waited for them to call me back. I was really nervous. Um, it was really weird getting a procedure done with COVID-19 going on because like no one can come in with you. Um, <clears throat> so they called me back and um, I peed in the cup, and then they had me, like, get dressed in the gown and everything, um, sure, and all that good stuff, and then, um, had me gown up, put all my stuff underneath the table, and I laid there, and they gave me a nice warm blanket, which was really nice because it was cold in there. The anesthesiologist came in to talk to me, which made me feel so much better, because that's what my main concern was the anesthesia, the anesthesia. So, uh, but he assured me that it's super chill and uh, he was really nice. And I, to I told my concerns about being su super nauseous afterwards. Anyway, he said that he'd cover me with anti-nausea meds so like I wouldn't feel like bad when I woke up and everything. So that made me feel so much better. Um, and then I knew it was getting close. So I was getting like really excited. They s and he said Dr. Aramoni would be out in 30 minutes. And I was just like, oh man, it's happening. Uh, <clears throat> so he went away, and then the nurses were super nice. Um, they were just like coming in, you know, checking on me and stuff. And I met my post op OR, OR nurse. Um, and then Dr. Gary Moni came in to mark my chest and like, marked it and showed me exactly like where he was going to be putting the incisions and putting my nipple grafts on. Um, after that, I laid down and they were, were um, telling me that they were going to like sedate me a little bit and I welcomed that because um, like I said I was nervous so <laughs> and they were like are you starting to feel loopy and I was like I guess a little bit. I don't remember if they put a mask on me or not. I just remember being asleep. Well, not remember being asleep, but... <laughs> uh, so, I woke up, cried for about 10 minutes, 
um, just because I guess it was just a lot to take in. Like, I woke up and I was like in pain and my chest, obviously, and I don't know, I was just scared, I guess. So, but after the 10 minutes of crying was over, I think I was just still just coming out of anesthesia. So, after that, I was in a super good mood. I was just like, yes. Um, and I was excited just about everything and just felt super good. And I was really excited because they were like, call your, call your friend and, um, and she can come like sit with you while you're like, you know, until you're ready to go home or whatever, which wasn't that long. Um, I didn't even know she could come in afterwards. That just made, um, my whole, ex like, experience even that much better. Um, and I was surprisingly wide awake. I was expect I was expecting to feel like I couldn't even, like, stay awake and stuff. Um, but I was wide awake. It was so weird. And... Uh, so she came in and they went over like the drains and stuff um, and like how to empty them and she took a video so that my grandma could help me out with that um, and then they gave me a pain pill for the ride home and that was my first experience with pain medication and um, I slept thanks for watching and I'll be posting another update as soon as possible. So probably going to do an update every day or maybe every other day, depending, because um, editing takes me like a long time. Kudos to all the people that edit videos, because um, it's really a long process. So um, I'll catch you all later. And thanks again for watching. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.